What's up guys, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to restore this 1970s road bicycle by the brand named of Stollenwerk. This is almost 50 years old and uh, now we are riding it already. So I think we've done a pretty good job. Whoa! <laughs> and now it's time to test this thing, what it can do. So yeah, have fun with this video. I will catch you later. And it's done. <laughs> All right, boys, we got it. What a beauty that is. <laughs> and we were so lucky to get it. This guy, he reserved it for us for two days and got many other um, inquiries about this bicycle. And now we got it. It's so beautiful. It, it is heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite heavy. Not too much, but and we're gonna strip a few parts down. I'm so stoked, it's just such a beautiful color. It's just a piece of art, really. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the car now. And we have a few other parts to pick up, maybe even some white handlebar tape on the way. And then, yeah, they even have some ties to, um, at home. And yeah, there's even some clearance for some bigger rubber. So I'm pretty sure we can put in a 32C tire there. So this would be awesome. Right, I'm gonna put this in the car now and uh, get cracking. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at this 1970s road bike, which is called by the name Stollenberg, founded by the owner Matthias Stollenberg, originated in 1927. That's when they started building bicycles, or when he started. I don't know too much about his biography, but I know for sure they made beautiful bicycles and they were based around the area of Aachen, or Aachen, which is close to Cologne and close to the Dutch border. And this bicycle here in particular, it says seit fünf Jahrzehnten Stollenwerk bicycles. So it says since five decades Stollenwerk bicycles. So this is to celebrate 50 years anniversary. So if my math is correct, then uh, this bike is from 1977 at least. I could check the serial number and stuff. I will do that later. But this is uh, yeah enough information for me. So uh, 1977's road bike and this blue color is unbelievable so beautiful and it's almost untouched so here's the story where i got this bike from i picked it up yesterday and uh, two days uh, earlier i saw a listing just uh, yeah went on ebay private ads and just scrolled through and then i saw this one and such a beautiful bike i mean i have enough bikes but uh, i couldn't resist i had to get this one so much detail on this bike and and the chrome which yeah doesn't even have uh, rust on it uh, we just have to clean it a little bit yeah i just fell in love with this bike with this color with the detail and also the chrome parts at the fork yeah also these brakes here yeah, are really funky so you can even brake like this when you have your hands on the uh, top of the handlebar <laughs> this is so incredible I haven't seen that so really an ancient bicycle it weighs a ton as well but this is probably due to all this unnecessary stuff i would say that is on there like the mud guards the rack we're going to remove that and uh, that will save a little bit of weight also also the front rings here uh, there are <laughs> that's a triple drone actually so i think we could remove one of these save another two grams so i don't know what it weighs at least 16 kilos 15 kilos not a light bicycle but it's a quality made bicycle you can see that with all the detail that is on there um, so we're just we're going to remove a few parts that are not necessary to get the weight down a bit. <coughs> For the parts, we got uh, these Panaracer Gravel Kings. I used them before, um, but they didn't fit. So in those bicycle, they should fit absolutely fine. On there, mounted, are currently 30C tires. And there's still lots of room to work with, even at the rear. So you can call this very much a gravel bike if a 30C tire fits, in my opinion and you could even put a 35 on there i'm sure so that's nice and uh, also we go for some nice white handlebar tape for uh, yeah, the handlebars and what you also need is some hoods like these in brown i think to yeah just uh, touch it up even more but uh, yeah unfortunately i don't have these at hand now so uh, we're going to do all the other stuff and yeah the hoods on a later day i uh, decided to do it today because the weather is beautiful we have sunshine and i can also go out and ride this thing later so 
<laughs> yeah, that's what you're probably most looking forward to. Look at this ancient lamp here with a dynamo. It's just so beautiful. It probably weighs a few grams, but I'm probably gonna leave it on there because it just, it just fits to the bicycle. It just has so much charm. And yeah, I was really lucky when I picked it up. The guy said, yeah, I had like 20 other guys who wanted to, uh, wanted to pick up the bike. <laughs> I can see that very much. Such a beautiful bicycle. And also we should be lucky with the wheels. So there are 30C tires on there. So we should be able to squeeze a 32C on there. So these rims should be 15C. That's very good. So we don't have to buy another 100 euro wheel set. Okay, so enough waffling, I would say. Let's get on, uh, strip the, the bike down from the mud guards and the rack, and then go from there and uh, yeah, put the tires on and the handlebar tape. I'm so pumped. <laughs> something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are guys, there's the bicycle. I am speechless, honestly. I don't know what to say. I'm just, wow, this bicycle, the light blue color, the shiny chrome parts that are on it, uh, they are absolutely perfect. We cleaned them up, now they are shining like they are brand new again. And also for the handlebars, we got some new white handlebar tape and also some shiny little knobs here which is yeah, setting up the color even more. Only downside is these brakes, they are called Formos. So I don't know what brand that is, but the brake, the cords in there are some special ones. So I'm not sure if we can replace these cables. Maybe I have some hacking to do, but yeah, there's that. But what a bike it has come out to be. All the shiny chrome parts, we cleaned them up. They are looking totally awesome and nice and shiny. And also the light blue color. It's still in perfect condition for a bike that is from the 1970s, uh, 1977 to be exact. Uh, this is just unbelievable. The seller told me the bicycle was from his father and it was just uh, uh, gathering dust uh, in the garage. And uh, that's why uh, and he also got some new bikes. So he wanted to sell this, but I'm so lucky for him that he gave it to me. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, we set it up with some nice wide handlebars. Uh, only thing missing is here these, these hoods, these rubbers. I think we're gonna go with some brown ones. Unfortunately, I don't have them here, but yeah, we'll do that on a, on a later day. Were there any difficulties? Let me think about it. No, the tires, they went on super fine. So I was really glad that I could squeeze those 32 C tires on this wheel set here. Uh, they were yeah, absolutely fine to put on or what else? Yeah, putting the wheels back in was also not so difficult <laughs> thanks to these um, clampers here. Very old school fashion, but I love them. Fitting very much with the bicycle. Yeah, uh, I thought initially I wanted to remove one of these cranks, but uh, I don't think I want to do this now because they're looking so nice and shiny. So I'm going to leave that. Um, also the pedals, they're still pedaling very nicely. Don't have to service them. But yeah, most important thing even is how much kilos could we uh, strip off the bicycle? So 
we have a rack, we have mudguard, and uh, yeah, we have another mudguard over here. Okay, to be fair, they are not really heavy. I don't know if it's plastic or even metal. I think it's metal. Then we have this massive stem put on this bicycle here. This also weighs maybe 500 grams. So um, this is one kilo for sure that we stripped off the bicycle, maybe even two. And uh, I think it probably weighs around 13 kilos now. And there's potential to make the bike lighter. But yeah, the only thing I would like to change is the saddle. Uh, it's yeah, plastic one. Uh, doesn't really fit with the bicycle, so I'm gonna replace that for sure. But overall, for the looks of the bicycle, there's not too much that will change. Also, <laughs> this um, reflector here, I think I'm gonna leave that on because it just looks cute. Um, of course, if you want, you could strip a few more parts of the bike, like these clampers here, the reflectors, and then you could save another few grams, but the bike would lose some of its charm. Man, it's so hot. Why am I always doing this in the heat? Like it's 30 degrees again. In 20 minutes, I have to go to work. <laughs> Luckily, I have home office, but um, so I want to get this thing out and ride. So tell me in the comment section down below how you love, <laughs> how you like this video and uh, how you like the little restoration that we have done with this bike. So overall, the investments we made, tires, okay, they were like expensive. The bicycle, 100 euros, tire set, uh, 70 euros, and we had 170 euros. Handlebars, uh, handlebar tape, 12 euros when we are at 182 euros we're gonna have to replace the hoods then another 10 bucks 194 euros so roughly 200 euros for the whole bicycle which is absolutely amazing of course when we go for a new saddle maybe a brooks leather saddle would fit nicely they are quite expensive so you would have to add at least another 50 bucks maybe i can't find one second hand but under 250 euros for the whole bicycle it's absolutely amazing i believe if i wanted i could sell this for 400 euros easily but of course i don't <laughs> i'm just gonna keep it now tell me in the comment section down below if you like this video subscribe to the channel to see many more bicycle restoration content and yeah i will catch you in the next video very soon but first of all let's get this thing out and try it out i can't wait with these balls surely not you have to be careful if you go cycling here that's a nice way to hang your bicycles <laughs> And it's done.